All right, guys. So this is uh, a bit of a non-linear episode, I suppose, on this series. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be doing a, one of the raids uh, from one of the kingdoms we've already conquered. Uh, I'm going to be doing the Morovan Raid 3. And um, basically, the purpose of this is so I can um, get some more units and uh, get some more upgrades to those units. Uh, for the next kingdom that we're going to try and conquer. I think we're going to go to uh, Marsur next. Um, but for now, I'm going to do a Morovan raid number three. And the reason is, is we get three militiamen every time we complete this raid. Uh, and this is infinitely repeatable, so we can do this as many times as we want to. Um, I'll do it once for the purpose of a video. But uh, yeah, so basically this is the most time efficient way to get as many soldiers as possible. Um, we also get an armor, weapons, and beast upgrade, so we get three upgrades as well. Um, but as you can see, the uh, points to spend on units is huge, so I don't even know um, if I'll be able to field all of my units. I'm going to select the uh, west side so we go first. Um, and so we have these nine squares down here to use, uh, These uh, this big section in the middle, and then we have another nine squares on the top. So this is the army we're facing against. They have a hero, four pikemen, and uh, another five foot soldiers behind them, and then two back here next to the uh, trebuchet. So pretty, pretty decently sized army. They have four cavalry up on the top and four on the bottom. So I wasn't sure when I selected to do this mission if I would even be able to do it. Um, and... The reason for that is I don't think I have 4,500 points of units. I'm pretty sure I have something around the region of 3,000 to 3,200, something like that. Um, but I'll go ahead and just, you know, start deploying them, see what we're working with. Just get everything that I can uh, on the uh, on the board here. Get Might as well get all of my range units way in the back back here and yeah we only have eight units left not even a hundred each yeah so i'm not going to get anywhere close to the budget i need um to finish off this mission wow i still am missing quite a lot um do i think my army can beat that i think this army definitely is stronger than this one but with the addition of eight more cavalry units, I think I'm just going to get wiped here. Um, so maybe what I do is I spend some of the upgrades I already have uh, to get these militia. Because these militia men are just, these two guys are just completely useless. Um, I'm going to go back. I'm going to quit out of this. I'm going to spend some upgrades. Uh, let me see what these foot soldiers can turn into. So I can get more cavalry units and more and then i can get uh halberders and swordsmen so i think what i'm gonna do is spend get one should i get one additional cavalry to round up to four cavalry units maybe that's a smart thing to do so why, don't, why not i mean i can always you know farm more of these there's no it's not wasteful to create any particular unit you can always get more of them um so there's that. Uh, okay, I have this unit now. I'll spend one of my two armor points to get it to a knight, and so now I have four knights. Very good. Um, I have four attack, uh, however you call them, and I have two catapult uh, lures. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just turn both of these militiamen into... Um, can I get out of this? Okay, I don't know. I'm not sure. quite sure how to get out of that, but... What does this turn into? So I can turn these into trebuchets for another lore. And then after that, they require a uh, oh, one of these emblems to turn into a cannon, I'm fairly certain. So what I'll do for now is I'll turn these two militiamen into catapults. So I have three catapults. This will definitely come in later. Um, I remember this game had online functionality uh, on when it when it was a mobile app. And the way that online worked was you deployed your units in the traditional, you know, on those yellow tiles uh, with the amount of points that you had per map. 
And once you deployed your units, you basically entered a queue and you you don't even you wouldn't have to be in the app during the queue and it would just look for an opponent and then once it matched you with an opponent it would be ai that would fight each other so both of your armies would get controlled by ais it, very similar to like an auto battler game like team fight tactics or uh, or dota auto chess is a is a you know comparison of that type of a combat system and the army that you would make would just fight against the army that the other player would make and they would both be controlled by the AI. And I remember a very, very strong strategy was to just get like 15 catapults or something ridiculous like that. You know, I don't even, maybe it's not 15, maybe it's like 10 that you could only have the points to deploy, right? You would just put 10 catapults down and every single turn you're like, the AOE from 10 catapults is just dealing, you know, 40 damage in an AOE to, to the whole enemy army, so. That was a very effective online strategy in this game. So I'm sure we could use a whole bunch of catapults. Um, and uh, I, I think for the time being, let's spend some more upgrades here. It says we still have two. So I upgraded these to catapults, but it didn't take my two lore books away. I wonder if that's bugged. I really hope we can't just spend like infinite upgrade points. Um, I wonder what happens if I go into a raid and then back out. Uh, let me try and do that. So it, it, it upgraded my units for me. There we go. Okay, it updated my it, it updated once the, the menu got refreshed. Okay, that's good. I was hoping this wasn't bugged and let me do infinite upgrades because that would kind of like ruin a lot of the series. <laughs> um, okay. So the longbowmen can get upgraded into uh, crossbows, which deal quite a bit more damage. I think they have one uh, range less than a longbowman, but they deal like 15 more damage per shot or something like that, which is super, super nice upgrade. Musket Musketeers are even better. Um, but these rangers have a very special trait. Um, they have, I think they have two uh, range less than the archer unit but they can move and attack on the same turn, uh, which other, the, I'm pretty sure it's the only range unit that can do that. Um, for, for example, with the, uh, with the archer, you have the, the choice of moving or attacking. You can't do both in one turn. And so with the rangers, you can, if you're in range of something, you can shoot it and then run away. So there's a kiting mechanism basically with these guys. So they're really fun to use, really like them. They're pretty powerful. Um, so I won't upgrade these just yet. Um, so I have a, de a defense in the four attack, um, four attack upgrades. Can the pikemen can't get upgraded. Footmen can turn into halberders. Hmm. I'm thinking of doing that. How much are these guys? So the light armor attack with a halberd. These guys turn into pikemen with a lore. I didn't actually, I didn't actually know that. Um, okay. So the deployment costs seventy-five. These are one twenty-five. Uh, so maybe I'll just upgrade. Like, I'll get two of them. Why not? All right. That should be okay. We'll go with that. Um, I don't think I spent all of my budget, but I think my army is quite a bit stronger with those extra catapults, especially. So I'll put those all at the back like this. Um, we have the extra knights to put in our front line for a charge. Pikemen. Let's put our ranged units in the back. I like making everything uniform. There's really not a, you know, it's not necessary to do it that way, but I like doing it that way. Set up like this. All right, and we have 750 points uh, remaining in our army, uh, whereas last time we had like 1,200 or something like that. Um, so quite a bit more expensive an army, much stronger of an army. I can already tell by the looks of it, the extra knight, the extra two catapults, halberders instead of um, the two militiamen that we had previously. So I'm liking the look of this. I'm willing to go ahead and um, try this challenge out. I think. I think we still have a pretty big uh, chance to lose if I'm if I'm being honest, um, but 
we're, we're going to give it a best, best shot anyway. Um, I'm going to go ahead and only move these units up about two spaces because I want to get a charge on their melee units. And if I move up, you know, all the way up to here, then it, I'll, I, it's not going to be enough space for a charge. So I'm just going to move up only a little bit. Keep the formation tight. Um, that way my catapults can also um, move up a little bit. Maybe I use my halberders to defend uh, these guys. Maybe that's maybe that's the plan. So I'll move these guys up as far as I can. Move the catapults up so they actually will go all the way up, which is good. I actually don't think I need to do that now that I'm thinking about it. Because these guys are about to all move forward. No, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. And I'll just flank them using the halberders so I have some uh, defense, you know, some form of defense for them. All right. Enemy's turn. AI is going in a uh, nice little compact formation here. That's going to make a lot of uh, a lot of good damage from our catapults and ranged units onto the hero this turn. I'm going to try and focus fire this hero down as quick as I can. Um, maybe with my a good strategy with my knights will be to um, kill their go go straight for their ranged units. Uh, maybe that's something I can I can try to do. We're going to get flanked hard by these. My catapults and range units are going to get absolutely destroyed by the uh, the cavalry that the AI has that's going to close in on me. So we're going to do our best. I, I think we're going to lose, but I wanted to record this anyway because this is a huge battle. And I'm going to be doing this battle off screen like four or five times, I feel like. So uh, I just wanted to record my, my first attempt at it. So let me just throw this right in the middle of their army. I'm just going to do that with all of my catapults. Kill off. Uh, I actually don't know. I think this is a great swordsman is the name of this unit. Um, just try and do that the best I can. Get their hero as low as possible. Beautiful. Going to get him down to 40 HP uh, before a charge. Oh my gosh, and I can just one-shot him. How about that? That is crazy. I did not think I'd be able to do that. So I don't want to charge the pikemen. They have that defense. Instead, I'm going to round the uh, formation and uh, deal 100 damage to their uh, their archers here. So they get absolutely no use out of their archers. Super good for me. Um, oh, I can do an 87 charge on the diagonal? That seems really strong. What about... Um, Oh wow! I can reach all the way to this guy. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. Maybe I keep my foot soldiers all the way around. I, maybe I just don't even use them at the start. We'll see. So I, this unit won't be able to reach the trebuchet. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give give it a charge on this unit. 31. See, it only did 60 damage. The th that's one of the deceptive. Uh, the de Deceptive strengths with the pikemen is if you're charging them uh, with a with a unit or using a unit that can move and attack in the same turn, it'll give you a certain damage number. But since the pikemen have the you know the trait of always attacking first, even when you're on defense, um, that number is always going to be smaller. So it said that I would do 87 damage, and I only did 60. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to move. My, my pikemen back like this and end my turn so that uh, the the cavalry units that are flanking me right here can't just walk up and like one shot my range stuff. They'll have to, you know, at least take a longer route to get behind me and, and, and stuff like that. So I'm just going to cause them as much trouble as possible. I'm going to end my turn here. See what happens. Oh, the trebuchet missed and hit its own unit, which is super good for me. Okay, pike unit walked up and died. They're focusing down my hero, but he's doing so much damage to all their units. The the chip damage from my ranged units is is definitely doing a ton of work right now. Okay, so they're advancing. I'm going to be able to kill the trebuchet this turn. And then what am I focusing on next? I mean, it has to just be their cavalry units, right? I'm going to hold my formation uh, for sure. I think I'm about to get overwhelmed with... Ooh, I lined up for a charge there, which isn't great. Okay. All right. 
so I can charge for 85. Um, I can charge through that. Can I 100 this? No. Can this unit 100 this? No, really. I didn't know that. I would have expected that I would have been able to do that. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and do this. Two damage. Okay, so I don't even need to worry about him. Use this guy to uh, get this trebuchet down low. So it's basically, you know, ineffective now with that low of HP. Its damage is going to get reduced a huge amount, which is awesome. I can charge that knight for 57. Um, but I think I don't want to do that. I think instead I use my weak units to kind of finish off their weak units. Uh, let me go ahead and use my range on this group of oops no not move i want to rock controls are kind of janky with mouse and keyboard <laughs> this game was designed for touch controls and i'm using a you know a mouse to do all the movements look at this bro my my catapults have they haven't missed the the target a single time this round which is super rare look at how much damage i just did i just did 60 to him and 30 like three to the rest of them so what is that that's 100 plus 60, 160 damage uh, from from three rocks, which is 53 damage on average per sh per catapult shot. Super, super good. Um, all right. Use our muskets and uh, range on uh, this this strong unit here. Go ahead and finish this guy off and I can charge for 25 nice sweet so this guy doesn't take damage um, if I open up they can kill my longbowmen so I think I just hold the formation for the time being Um, sure. I think that's, a, I think that's okay. Maybe these guys can already reach around the, the, these three units can, can already get in range of my catapult. So I'm just going to walk up and deal some damage to them. Um, I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Okay, he's finished off. He's almost finished off. Wow, they spent a lot of units trying to f trying to kill that that knight. That's a lot of their damage gone for this turn. Okay, so they're focusing down that weak member. Yep, he can reach around the back, but he's only four HP, so he didn't do a lot of damage. This guy will probably. Yeah, deal a big hit. 53 damage, okay. So now I need to focus down this unit. All right. So I should be able to charge and kill this guy. Oh, 49. That's okay. He won't do any damage back. Yep. 26 damage, fine. Um, it's worth it's worth you know nearly suiciding. He was almost he was gonna die the next turn anyway. 55 on a charge, but it's diagonal, so he, I don't think he'll be able to hit me back. Yep, nope, he won't. Very good, very good. Um, let me go ahead and longbow this guy for four HP because that's you know my lowest damage thing that I can use. 61. Finish him off, uh, and now it's catapult time. Where am I targeting? Is it this? I think I target this unit, because it hits four. Yeah. Oh, that hit five and killed two units. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that was an even, you know, possibly even better result there, even though it missed. 
dealing chip damage to all these units so so strong they're all going to do less damage on their turns because they're you know taking that much damage uh back themselves focus down this last night um and now that these units are are here i might as well just you know start moving forward and attacking them okay kill that unit kill that unit deal 40 to that unit man i think we're gonna win another another solid strategy is um is winning us this uh this round even though we have way less points than the um you know deployment points than the uh enemy army all right F keep focusing this knight down Use my rocks on this cluster of enemies here. Uh, Lance for 66. Awesome. Charge this guy. You can spear that guy. Sweet. They have one unit left, and I think I'll be able to kill them. Yep, I will. Awesome. All right, so we won. We won our first raid. Uh, let's see the spoils. Oh, we got a major victory. I don't know what qualifies us to get that. I don't... So we got our first medal, our first major victory medal. I didn't know that's what it was called. I also don't know why we get that. Um, maybe it has something to do with beating the opponent by a certain margin of victory um i have no clue um i'll try and find out why i get that maybe it's because the rate it's a big you know like a 4500 point raid maybe a major victory just means a major battle that you win but i feel like that would be included in the rewards if you get that every time that you you know do a raid like that um i'm not sure and i highly doubt that the answer to that question is <laughs> is able to be found online but i'll look for it um and if i do find out the reason why i got that then i'll let you guys know in the next video but that'll be it for this one thank you guys so much for watching this one is a bit of a uh you know wasn't part of the main story of the game but we need upgrades to our army so that we can spend more money on the bigger battles that are going to come up uh so uh yeah thanks for watching this one it was a lot of fun Really cool battle. Another another good strategy paying off for us. Uh, this has been Let Us Play, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.